Hi, we're about to start lesson six. A few reminders before we get into this one. I'm hoping that you're paying attention to your feedback, that you're looking at the signs you need to look up if they're incorrect. You're paying attention to what I'm saying about your fluency, if it's choppy, if there are hesitations, and you're working on that, and that you're using your face. Right now, primarily you're using your face for grammar markers, but you're, you've got to use it for tone of voice as well, and that's going to build more and more and more as we get going, especially when you're talking about your own information, like on your midterm and final exam. Um, and as the sentences get more complex, you'll need to add some expression to that as well. Um, remember, that's a critical part of ASL, and it's one of the hardest things to do is get your face involved. I understand, but you've got to learn how to do it. Um, make sure you're practicing your finger spelling. Just because you've signed those two assignments, there's one more later that you'll sign, but just because that, that, that you've done those, it doesn't mean you're just done with that. Finger spelling is a big part of ASL. you got to be practicing it and working on your receptive skills. Um, just like if you had to repeat yourself over and over and over again, you wouldn't enjoy talking to a person. A deaf person doesn't want to have to finger spell a word to you five times before you get it. So you need to be practicing that. Um, pay attention in the 10 sentences again today. We're going to be doing our number with our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So make sure you do your number first. Pay attention to those topic markers. Your eyebrows are up. In these, you have a few more opportunities where, like, sentence number one actually has two sentences. There's a sentence, and then there needs to be a hesitation where that period is. And then there's a second sentence. Pay attention to the eyebrow markers for topic, for questions, for WH questions. Remember, topic markets, markers, the eyebrows are up. Yes, no questions, the eyebrows are up and the head leans in. WH questions, the eyebrows are down and the head leans in. Um, negatives, we have to shake our head, so make sure you're shaking your head on negatives. Um, practice, practice them multiple times before taping and assuming you're ready. Um, have someone watch you, look at the flow. If there's anyone you know who's learning sign language, work with them. Um, record yourself. Watch the recording to see that it's smooth and that you're ready. Uh, tape the, the words up, the, the assignment up to a mirror, and watch yourself signing so that you see your face is engaged. You see how smooth you're looking. Um, all of those things are, are a huge help before you go. But just looking at the signs in the book and assuming from that you're going to get it is going to be a problem, um, especially as we move on and you're expected to know things and, and have it down better. Also remember to pay attention to the... Uh, the hyphenated words. Window is a double sign, but an open window is a single sign, and a closed window is a single sign. So pay attention to that, that movement. When you see two English words or three English words and they're hyphenated, remember that that's going to make only one sign. So pay attention to that. Look at the way these sentences are glossed and compare them to the sentence structures in your grammar notes. So if you see a sentence that has a WHQ above it, Go to your grammar notes and look for the WH questions. Look at the definition. Look at the sample glossing. Compare it to the way your assignment is. And make sure you're understanding that. Because as I said, later on, you're going to have to take English sentences and actually put them in ASL order. So pay attention to the fact that the glossings are always in capital letters. They have grammar markers above them. Make sure you're getting that now so that when you have that first glossing assignment to do, you don't feel completely lost. It is challenging. It's very different than another, other oral languages if you've studied another language. This is very different stuff. So if you're looking at it and you're just going, ah, I don't get it, you need to be studying those, those glossing notes that I gave you, the grammar notes, and you need to be um, sending email questions. You can always send an email, and if I don't get back to you, you can put in for an extension on the assignment and just put down that you're waiting for a response from me, and of course that will be approved. So please make sure you're clear on what you're doing and your understanding. We're in lesson six now. Um, there's only like four or five more lessons before you have to start glossing for me. And that gets very, very challenging to not only figure out the order yourself, but then get the face and the hands and the, the tone and all of that stuff in there. So please be working on that. Um, watching those signing videos, going back into the previous lessons and watching the sign model go through the lessons, turn the voice off on your computer, to unmute your computer so you can see if you're understanding the signs as she's going through them. Another great way to practice. Um, make sure you're doing that, and good luck on this set of sentences. Again, our sentences are getting a little bit longer, a little bit more complex. So good luck. Thank you very much.